guys, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hellebeck, and today I'm going to share my all-time favorite keto recipe with you. So let me start by saying I absolutely love potatoes. I love mashed potatoes so much when I was a child. Whenever I would order a burger, I would opt out of fries for mashed potatoes. So since I've started keto, uh, it's been the biggest thing that I've missed so very, very much. And one of the big things that the internet tells you to substitute mashed potatoes for is mashed cauliflower. And trust me guys, I tried it. I tried it so many times in so many different ways. And it was always too watery. It was always so like skunky tasting. It just, it did not taste good. <laughs> Please tell me you guys had the same issues. So I scoured the internet for different tips and my own experimentation. I finally found the perfect mashed cauliflower recipe. So stick around and I'll save your keto loving life. So let's start with the ingredients. Obviously you'll need cauliflower for this recipe. I use half a head of cauliflower and I break it into itty bitty pieces. Past that, all you're gonna need is about an ounce of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, and about a half cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I would strongly urge you to use a sharp cheddar or any other type of sharp cheese because that's going to complement the taste of the cauliflower, trust me. Past that, of course, it's almost crucial that you have this special little kitchen gadget here. This is my tiny little food processor, and honestly, I would be lost without it. In fact, I can't think of any other way you could really do this recipe without a food processor, but let me tell you what, guys. You can use it for anything, so if you don't have one of these, you should get one. <laughs> so the very first step is to microwave our cauliflower. That is right, microwave it. It is the only way for this recipe to work. So microwave your cauliflower for five minutes. After that, I normally try to break it up even a little bit more with a fork, and I will add my two tablespoons of butter. I'll microwave it for another four minutes, after which, again, I will squish it all down and try and mash it up as well as I can with a fork, and I'll add my cream cheese. Then I will microwave it for another one minute, stir it all together, and add the final ingredient, which is the shredded cheese. I'll mix that all up and then nuke it for another 30 seconds. And that should eventually lead to a concoction that looks similar to this. It actually it kind of looks like tater tots, and now that I'm thinking about it, I bet these would make really good tater tots. But that's not today's video. <laughs> so we're just gonna add this mixture into our food processor here. At this point, I will also add some salt and pepper. This is to your taste, of course, and you can add any other seasoning that you want to this. literally it guys it is that easy it is easier than mashed potatoes the taste is phenomenal and the consistency is on point which is always a hard thing to do with keto recipes I find of course I feel like this recipe is just a baseline I feel like you could do so many wonderful things with this like potato pancakes except it's mashed cauliflower pancakes or adding special things like bacon and cheese and oh my goodness all the wonderful things ranch it is it's so good guys I love food and so keto is really hard sometimes. So it is always wonderful when you can discover things like this. It just, it saves your life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really hope you did. Leave me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that being said, guys, I will see you the next time around.